Now we're going to talk about kidney tumors. Now this, it's tough to make it practical because there's a lot of new entities, but I will try my best. This time is not a case approach, so bear with me. Now, this you can see on the right side is the list of renal tumors. So for people that started dealing with pathology a long time ago, there were only four tumors once upon a time. Now there's many more, and every day I feel like there's a new one. So this is a field that is uh, you know, um, moving forward fast, and uh, to keep up, it's not easy. Now, of course, the classification is based mainly on histology and immunohistochemistry. There's also molecular features that are important to distinguish some of those tumors and cytogenetic findings, and I will uh, touch upon some of those. I don't expect to uh, memorize, of course, this list is in the WHO new book in to, that came out in 2016. We will cover a lot of lesions in a, in, a, uh, you know, in a fast way. Of course, there's no way to go in details in all of those. But I try to divide it in, in three categories, tumor with clear cell, tumor with pink cytoplasm, and tumor with papillary architecture. So that at least you can think about in a differential diagnostic approach. So when we look for tumors with clear cell cytoplasm, of course, the most common one is clear cell renal cell carcinoma. You have also to consider now the new named entity, multilocular cystic renal neoplasm of low malignant potential. This in the past was called also renal cell carcinoma, but since those tumors tend to be indolent, now the name has been changed to neoplasm of low malignant potential. Clear cell papillary renal cell carcinoma has been described not long ago, a few years, but is actually quite common. And then renal cell carcinoma with prominent angiomyomatous stroma, and of course the translocation tumors, and we will touch upon all of those. Now, clear cell renal cell carcinoma, you all know that is the most common renal tumors, about 65 to 70 percent. There's a mean age of the patient is about six and seven decade. There's a slight male predominance. And most of the patients actually are asymptomatic, although in the past in the book you would read about the triad of hematuria, pain, and mass, but this is actually quite uncommon. 10% of the tumor may be multifocal, and 3% of the tumor are bilateral. When you think about bilateral tumors, the most common renal tumor it is bilateral is papillary. Papillary in a cell carcinoma is the most common bilateral tumor. So go back to clear cell. Clear cell, sporadic. Majority of the cases, they have VHL mutation in more than 80% of the cases, and hypermethylation of the VHL in a subgroup. There is a familiar component of clear cell renal cell carcinoma characterized by chromosome 3 germline mutation. These are the patients with Van Eupen Lindau. And genetically, they have chromosome 3P alteration, and uh, uh, they have histone modification and chromatin remodeling gene that are altered. 